Hi. Everybody ready? Oh, I'm not ready. They won't let me drink, so what am I supposed to do? I drank some, you know, I don't really like to drink Coca-Cola too much. So today I drank Care for, you know, Care for, do I say it right? What's Care for. Care for. Care for. Care for classic Coca-Cola. <laughs> but it was Care for, not Coke, so. I'm so sick from this care for you. I feel like I'm ready to just drop dead. <laughs> I don't want to scratch Tristan's beautiful floor. Ah. Good. That'll be great. Let's just do that. Oh, perfect. This is so, if you don't like anything, you start to attack me. <laughs> I have a barrier and I can run right downstairs. Where all the food is, actually. Looks like a shrimp Bertrand? You got in okay? Someone give Bertrand a seat. He's very important. He's going to be the next president. We don't know what president he'll be or of what. But he's going to be the See, I'm nervous already. Okay, that was it. Go home. <laughs> We got your money, now go home. Okay. I know, at least your father's funny, I'm just stupid, right? <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Sylvia, when I grow my beard, it'll be better. Okay, so, I'm Steve Dolachinsky, this is Paul Solomon. We never met before. Well, actually, we met in one of those sex clubs down on <laughs> Oh, sorry, I told you. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, for, for those of you who know me, you know that I, I sometimes read with musicians and um, if they insist on seeing the work beforehand or rehearsing, I just tell them where they can go. So we never played together, we, we don't know about anything. He, he knows one thing and I know another thing. And together, that's a big universe. <laughs> So we thank you all. We thank Tristan, as always, for being the wonderful host. And I see some dear friends, so that makes me very happy. And, and the beautiful artwork on the wall is um, by this beautiful lady sitting here, <laughs> who they should give a seat to, at least, I mean. <laughs> I mean, she works, she works very hard to do this. Wait, I see. I'm unbelievable, actually. I come and see. If I, ever, if I ever worked that hard to write one poem, <laughs> they'd have to put me in three mental hospitals all at the same time. Okay, so. Okay. Piano player, player of songs. Here with the crow fly, now there no sound above or below. The evidence is clear testament to here, now, there. Sweet, sentimental crepuscule, giving credence to their creator, encompassing kaleidoscope, prolific unfolder, compare yourself, tune, melody of melody's beginnings, rhythming the head, the head, the delicate keeper arises, completing spring's song, repeating the riff, the head, the tune, the melody, abstracting the line, lyrical, lyrics of divine, Earthlink, the fascinating, convergence of ivory, unlocking of keys, the opening of the keyboard, stretching of strings, preparing and prepared, preparing and prepared, the life you play, oh player, oh piano player, the life you play that springs from these other lives, other seasons, Beyond the four, other breaths beyond your own, beyond that of piano, other breaths of breathing, completing the cycle of life, song of singing of notes within the blood, the roots of the lives of the now make up this life, now made this living, and by your touch now be, be, be made infinite in the now, and simply by your touch, the now. 
in the grain of the elephant's walk, the trumpeting of the tree, the guts of the foundry, the sighs made by the elusive muse while being hunted here within the within, within inside the within, where time is time, where in time, time is, and here where sound goes, here, here departs from here and here, here, no stress, no stress, just stretching. I lost my hearing, listened for it on the floor among the beer stains and sticky soles. I lost my seeing, groped around in the dark for it, somewhere between the bar and the men's room. I lost my voice, so I now speak to you in messages, lost my sense of smell, lost my touch, so you must play for me soft and gently, lost my way, so you must guide me with your song, piano player, 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 singer of songs, play the tunes within the screams, within the sorrows and the joys, give life to life, breathe instance into memory and memory into chance, dive and dance and sing within the keys as you unlock our senses, unlock our hearts. At the far end of Paris, there is a street as yet unnamed. It is a new street where the artists and shopkeepers walk. It is a back street not yet found on maps. And there, madly, where the lovers embrace, the ivory spin in space, the wood settles against the sky, and sunset commences. So tap your feet. Make it dance beneath your torso. Flush out the devil's mistress. Make the petals jump. Squeak the black and white so tight. Squeak the black and white so tight till black and white's no more. Dive inside the elephant's guts, dig beneath the tree bark. Swim until your reflection is the music and the wood and everything becomes one. Until you and the sunset become one. melon of heart, soul and small, easy quietness, night light on the long piano fingers, and two old friends hug in the doorway. There is no high polished mirror when Sonny gets blue, plaid and season riddled. Night in piano light, dull on the ivories, black keys polished like a fine old mirror, flirting with standards. Two old friends introduce their lovers, then sit at separate tables in the small, crowded cafe on a street that has yet been named. There are eyes that stray, transfixed, frozen like untouched night upon the light. There are closed eyes and eyes that wander here and body there and soul. Eyes like glass, like window, like mirror, like chance, like name, like two old friends. Eyes. Night, glass, window shut, opens to the song, piano player plays here within the cocks crow and now there within the no sound turns to morning soon repeats itself above below the moon created sleep it pulls world world unfolding kaleidoscopic outward westward eastward the sun the sun tree sap and elephant tusk and unnamed song filling with the names of the dead made living again alive again through your touch Just stretch the fingers, 
left wood, right wood, dark wood, light wood, inward, breathe memory into future days, nowadays into then stride, boogie woogie, roll up your lyrical, lyrical sleeves. Stream. 
Rip and Ripple and Bell. Over and over again, three days in a foreign body. I work on something to create something. If it works, I will call it something. Sky without connection. I, I visualize it counting over and over again. Cables, wires, information I created. And if it works, I will call it moon, meat, cloud, ball, labor fulfilled. Craft illustrated. A walk along the walk, a short walk, a day, a day, a man, a canoe, a power thing. A few must have been abducted. I must have been abducted. I just must have been abducted. Glass, telephone, tequila, stubs. Must have been abducted. I must have been abducted. I must have been abducted. Dirty collars must have been, must have been packed high on both shoulders, wheels, must have, must have, must have been smiles and sandwiches, uh, the human heart, the very human heart of abducted, some of these words were surely abducted, these nightmares abducted, the Lord may sign the ultimate, sacred heart must have been abducted. <laughs> Newly resurrected pipes, lawyers, doctors, politicians, all of these hands and these eyes abducted. These feet, this tongue and mouth that speaks must have been abducted. This rounding belly and all these belly aching epiphanies, movies, shadows, blankets, wallets, keys, ecstatic seraphim. <laughs> Insatient incantations, bridges, hell and jam, it must have all been abducted. Sawdust, ashes, dynamic crap shoot. Industry, corporation, and human waste. It's all abducted. The bottoms up. Must have been abducted. The breathing bee, abducted. Light and lighthouse, soap. Prayer, survival, trauma, accident, loss, skyscraper, future. Country without connection, flurry with information, half spoon, shiitake, shot, sliced mind, muscles caught in the cloth. Skin partially peeled up all night, brooding solitary jackal. Already the lonely powers of state usurping the tenement streets, the fallen lambs abducted, blind, tears of death and ghostly stone, dissolved in the green salt of nothing and nowhere, wrapped within a confession of shame, the vegetable mind sitting on the window transformed, the strings of the piano beating against the fingers, the scratches and clicks of the deep groove dipping into the meter, his pulse, the pop, the sugar, the cup, the soul-rending creak all abducted, the mountains atop the tracks, the pebbles beneath the skin, hungry neighbors gnawing at my plaster walls, Rust-colored vocal cords. It's, 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 it's difficult. It's difficult to stop breathing. It's so, it's so difficult to stop breathing. My very breath. It must have been abducted. Responding over and over again. Story without connection. Life without connection. Song. Song without.
abducted by aliens in the 60s. Arms drooping with wounds, blue feet swollen, dollars delivered as euros, stigmata. We are all aliens. We must have all been abducted. The light surrounding the last stinging trees, the light, the very light, abducted. The final games of the next to final year, wearing golden circles around our muscles. The holy grail, rewriting history in a futile search for our ancestors. Those that never existed in the first place, those that will be left here at last. We have no origin. We must have been abducted. My first day in a foreign land and a foreign body. Cloudless gray old city pointing to a window of smoked glass. Cut shaving and bread. My dream of young boys stealing young girls' youth. The clouds, the clouds, what can I say about the clouds? They must have been abducted. The stream, the stream says something. The rain, the sunlight, all abducted. The trees, this obsessional behavior I have of counting over and over again, converting dollars to demons, counting over and over again. My very sleep, it must have been abducted. The wind, coal mine, salt beer, sausage, coffee, tea, everywhere in the Donald, Starbucks, forest, trash, big dogs, small dogs, abduction everywhere is abduction. Nettles, brick, horse shit, and toilets, young boys stealing young girls' hearts or the other way around, kind pineapple nightfall, night and its cohorts abducted, moon meets sky, night and its contingency, art without connection, over and over again, hours without connection, limbs without connection. Merchants everywhere, merchants. Terrorists on a suicide mission without a mission. Filtering information, if it works, I will call it street, airport, day, desire, boom, number, bleeding, pocket, mustard, embrace, poetry, diarrhea, sausage, assuage, speech, butter, bun, spoilage, butthole, hill, ugly, ugly, snow, bottom, ugly, snow, bottom, ugly, bottom, up, bottom, bottom, up, country without connection. Responding over and over and over again. Story without connection. Man, canoe, mountain, waterfall, fallen, fallen, fallen lambs, 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 fallen, fallen lambs, lambs, lambs without connection. soul 
it was the only window left uncleaned, or should I say, unwashed. The blues floating around my newspaper eyes, my unrevealed conversions of lies, death, and the crib. It's all still unknown inside me, inside out. It's always asking, what the hell is it, Ethel? This tightrope, who the hell am I, Ethel? My passive bulletin board heart reporting on the hours of events of ruddy rubric of providence and glory of fate and glory, inclement glory. rider on your clown trip with your crown of thorns riding in the stretch of sunsets as eternal witness or just bad taste through all the pods and silent as mom's friend open and beckon to you at spring, Ethel. They say it's spring, Ethel. Can you smell them, Ethel? Can you smell them? It's spring, Ethel. Spring, Ethel. Begin anew. It's spring, always anew, always the decoy awaiting sail on the foggy morning set in stone in random motion and birth of sleep amidst this conspiracy of silence we share. This conspiracy of silence and and as the fool has often said before what the hell is it at all? There are no secrets. There should be no secrets. Life Life's no picnic basket. There is no forest through the brooms, Ethel. There's only motion and dust. What the hell is it? Where's it all? Where's it all to go? Where's it all to go? On the red planet in frozen water, trapped in space, awaiting the awaiting the council of the gigantic. That's it, Ethel. That's what it is. It is. It, it is. You know, that's what my life's all about, Ethel. A journey into fool's aesthetics, blind and cursing down some off littered alley in search of nothing less than the perfect entertainment. Nothing more than criticism entertaining itself. Totems, clouds, fishermen, two hands on the same moon, kind of like fruit in old lace and tripping over themselves. I could have been you, and you could have been me, Ethel. But we're not, we're not, we're not, and yet we are, we are. So what the hell is it, Ethel, and who the hell are we anyway, Ethel? Who the hell are we? Just a bunch of silly abducted folks. That's who we are, Ethel. 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 You know, I called for Ethel and I got Willie instead. Camelot. A cursed camel. Moonless, hazy, midnight haze. Like Willie. Willie, shoeless in front of the church. Homeless, all he owned, taken in the shelter. Moonless afternoon. God bless you and your family, wicked angel. Camelot. First. America, the colonized country. The chains of Europa still binding. Willie listening to the last of his voice, asking and begging, please, I am a colonized country. I've only one leg left. A colonized country nurtured by blackguards and bootleggers who only wanted to emulate those they broke free of. There's nothing better than being at the center, descending like a hard rock into a perilous sea, forging onward, forging a life while making copy after copy after copy of the ideals of others, somewhere between the red zone and the museum.
energy ebbs and flows. A water of little choice to and from the port, the ride made easier somehow by the faces tattooed to the windows. And you know, just like Ethel, Willie is out there somewhere carrying his library through Camelot, cursed and colonized and free, free, Willie is free. I cover my eyes to protect them from his stare. I cover my ass to protect it from the piper. Such false hope. I expend 70% of my energy worrying about the other guy and 30% wondering why. Sure, time is borrowing and mortgage payments are in. The wise doctor extracted payments from his patients in the form of their talent, their talent. Then they died or abandoned. Here, have another painting, Doc. Oh, thank you, Willie. But I think I'll take your shoes instead, or perhaps I'll take your other leg. It's a nice day for table turning. It's a fine afternoon to argue over a seat. Thank you, Willie. Thank you, Ethel. Thank you. Kafka. and open a kosher deli. <laughs> this he was going to do with his girlfriend. Her father, a Zionist, did not approve. His dream, his dream, however, was never fulfilled, due, of course, to his overly painful, chokingly early demise. The following is what Kafka's menu might have looked like. Metamorphosis, stuffed cabbage, peanut colony, kasha radishkis, the castle, triple decker rolled beef, grilled bologna, and chicken salami, the trial, salami and eggs, a hunger artist, hot roll with nothing on it, letter to my father, sliced tongue on rye with seeds, judgment, you filled the fish with horseradish. A country doctor, matzo ball soup. A fratricide, chopped eggs and chopped liver with chicken fat. Uh, the bucket rider, chicken in the pot. The burrow, mushroom wally soup. The Great Wall of China, kosher chop suey. The Chinese puzzle, kosher egg roll. Josephine the singer and mouse folk. Side order of challah bread. Pickles and slaw. The Tower of Babel. Chicken fricassee. Mount Sinai. Double non-horse platter. The animal in the synagogue. Romanian tenderloin steak. The building of the temple. Bagels and locks with cream cheese. The coming of the Messiah. Boiled flunking. Abraham. Twin double hot pastrami and hot corn beef. <laughs> right? <laughs> Paradise one. Potato lock is with applesauce. <laughs> Paradise two. Fresh, delicious pineapple cooker or blueberry seed blinzer. <laughs> Investigation of a dog. Knobblewurst and liverwurst platter. Description of a struggle, jelly cat soup. Mm -hmm. the, the, the warden in the tomb. The warden in the tomb, I didn't know he wrote that. The warden in the tomb, four juicy finger steaks marinated in our special sauce with egg barley and vegetables. Blomfeld, an elder bachelor, 
side of a beast. A wish to be a red Indian, side of red peppers, cotton speed mixed. An old manuscript, Halvar, the green dragon, tossed green salad, desserts, before the law, kosher cheesecake, the sirens, assorted ruggalach, the invention of the devil, chocolate devil food cake. Beverages, a report to the academy, chocolate, vanilla, or coffee egg cream. Parables, assorted Dr. Brown sodas. And the special of the day, America. An open smorgasbord and salad bar, and all you could eat for a shekel. <laughs> I, I never read that with music. That, that was, uh, it was just lying here. And, you know, this, this kid being from Israel, and you know, it is true, Kafka really wanted to go to Israel, and everything were, were the titles of Kafka's stories. Not, I, had, I didn't make them up. Uh, Kafka really started to become very religious at the end of his life, and he was, when he was on his deathbed, he really did want to move to Palestine. And, um, he wrote all these sto stories, more and more stories pertaining to his um, Judaism, which kind of most of his life was just one of those things he carried around like this. Now, Green Bay, I can't take it anymore. Right? <laughs> okay, we, I'm, I'm not supposed to be a, a poet, so I have to be serious. <laughs> Should we stop? I mean, what's wrong with it? You all, you all look so serious. Any, anybody in the back? Oh yeah, look, I, I see that guy with a mustache over there. Someone else in the back? Look, who's those people standing? You could sit here on the floor if you want to sit. <laughs> you know, it's okay. You, you don't have to be afraid or anything. I mean, you could even sit on this thing if you want, you know? I could like goose you every time I think of it. I'm talking about the music telling a story. It is hot. <laughs> Well, you got a lot of work. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. <coughs> a lot of work. I'm talking about the music telling a story. The story you think it tells if you're going to talk about the music. Whether it's an examination or an untitled original, the music is always saying something and giving and keeping and translating and asking. If you want to tell what the music is talking about, say what the music is saying, say that the music is something to say, that it's telling a story. Even if you have to search your imagination. To look for heroes and such and personal princesses pounding the dust trails to free themselves from happy endings that all end happily precarious in the end. There's a violent romance in the cobbles. tells you just how modern the past can be. Look there. The music's past us. The music's told us. The music's met us and spoke to us. As we listened and spoke back and woke up some star rain civilized night to breathe its rib cage and eat its dust cobbled flags and tattooed trees, to paint its walls, to yawn and tell a story. I'm talking about the music. The music. The music woke us one night. The music. Yeah, yeah. 
this, this beautiful little planet that he will try so desperately to screw up. The color of fruit on the vine. The color of fruit just picked. The color of fruit in a bowl, whole, or slice. The color of fruit half eaten. The color of fruit in the stomach. My crisis, my crisis is not with my faith, but with my identity. My choice of positions, mustard-colored eyes. The lovely couple that can never be footprints on my thumb. Her shadow loosely on the wall. Footprints on my heart. Primary move. Set in the skyworks, primary moon in the skyworks, the stage performance, her bare feet painted red, her footprints in my eyes, the whistle of my lungs. My crisis is not with my faith, but with my identity. I cut into space with a sense of blues that no one's ever felt before. The cause always lesser than the effect. Moon, moon shaking like a body driven, body temperature rising, always lost among the columns. Perfect couple never consummate. Moon rising is only smiling, fork and rise. The smell of its shape, a stage set in the falling sky. Such perfect color. Shadow bending into a yawn, the yawning piano causing sleepless breath, a circle forming and unforming, breathless, breathless sleep. I don't know who invented sleep and why they didn't give any to me. Footprints on my heart, window of paper glass, the legend made real. my kind that is nowhere, somewhere I remember in the dance, the dance. You change orchestras easily. You are orchestra and column. I confuse one hollow for another and see fault in lies and their benevolence. The fruit is perfectly ripened and the fruit is perfectly rotten. Peach, cherry, melon, blue sky, pretty slow, heavily light. The fruit, the fruit, the color of fruit, fruit, the color of fruit. Fruit, the color of capitalism. Fruit, green fruit. The sailboat beyond the rock seems to be so relaxed. The white of its sail so still. Three children run from the ocean. The oldest, the girl, waves something, chanting. Hey, I found a dollar. I found a dollar. And she had in the water, amongst the waves, the waves, the last place you'd ever expect to find C-A-P-I-T-A-L-I-S-M. The waves, even the waves. Reconstruction here, Still, still thinks it's young and carefree, plays among the litter, corn cob and plastic, not good enough to even be called garbage, the hammering on girders creaking of crane, music, wind and ocean, music, helicopter, music, my God, she says, my God, clouds and sun pacing back and forth in the sky.
Because they are harsh to us, we turn against our allies. Because they are harsh to us, we kill their sons and daughters. Because they are harsh to us, we loot their national treasures. Because they are harsh to us, we silence all their voices. Because they are harsh to us, we set up puppet governments. Because they are harsh to us, we make them a democracy. Because they are harsh to us, we fill them up with fast food. Because they are harsh to us, we steal their natural resources. Because they are harsh to us, we incorporate their bodies. Because they are harsh to us, we turn them into factories. The beach is so beautiful today. The clouds dominate the sky. The waves crash violently upon this usually calm shore. My shoulders and chest convulse with shivers. My teeth chatter. My bloodless fingers go stiff and numb. The music's turned nasty like the weather. As the water reaches my feet, I feel a warmth within the undercurrent, like a comfort or a message from hell, because they are harsh to us. Because they are harsh to us. In the water, among the waves, the waves, the last place you'd expect to find capitalism.
peek out into space through doorless doorway, look around, sky itself is a skylight, see streaks of pale blue on earth colored floor, semicircle off colored cleaves, pull back, heat the fire with your palm, scream, oh no, loudly inside your head, wash your hands of the whole affair as the stones begins to rumble like a coming quake, drink turpentine, glance at yourself in a bathroom mirror, smile fleetingly, walk into the stall, pull down your pants, sit and wait and wait and wait and wait. 12, 17, 30, 54, 24, 30, 36. Drops off a quantum working in eights and scales and remifact circular linearities, single, no clusters, forced to ignore 26, 26, 22, 36, so 42, nothing matters, 48, 28, mathematics, regi, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 8, 10, 6, turn them Disappearing angel, a finite clearing, regular sun, cup of light, study for a fugue. The furniture of decision, horizon, spilling over as in vertical, perpendicular desires and parallel, parallel moves. The problem of color is this. The eye is a glass in a wooden box is a stop sign, a universe, a wooden leg in a glass house, an apple changing as it ripens, a decadent drunk, a gentleman, a woman of circumstance, a filter cigarette, the seasons, the way the colors merge, morphism, turning to look one last time before leaving the system. System, I will not say health, synchronismos, new tones, music, I will definitely never say you. The angels arrive at the river, reverse partitions, part notions, the color of cold rainbows. And I believe I said rainbows. Rainbows with glass eyes and souls made of seasons. The interpretation of song, I will never say song, allegros, andantes, finales, correspondences, secrets, refractures, where white reflects and black absorbs, the sound of color and the color of sound, where thought forms and voice forms and sand turns to glass, how even in light there is darkness, and even in 
darkness, there is light. 12, 17, 30, 24, 36, 54, working in eighths, scale of Ramaphaka circularity, single note clusters, forced to ignore 26, 26, 22, 36, 42, 49, 48, 48, 48, 48, 
<laughs> oh, he doesn't know. He's not quite sure. But Steve, okay, we'll take a little Steve, break. Steve, I would like to hear from the artist too. At yeah. The end, at the end. Oh yeah, that's you, up to her. Two artists, and then the artist, the wall artist. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh, Q and A time. She's hiding. She's hiding. Yeah. Okay. And because you're here in the back, we will do that poem for you. Thank you. But uh, yeah. So what do you want to do? You want to take a five minutes, ten minutes? Get a little. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe don't want to. Oh, son of a bitch. Now you know why I never take a break. Learn to break everything that's broken. Oh. Okay, you see this little thing? There are only 10 copies of this were made. Only 10. With a great musician named Charles Ward. It's actually Ward played some of this. You want me to try to read from it? I read it. Literally, you know Charles Ward, right? Gold Sparkle? Uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. He, he made this. And I said, wait, I'll tell you. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> 14 copies. And he numbered. No, 14. <laughs> yeah, 14. I said, Charles, why so few? And he said, well, it makes it more valuable. I said, oh, well, not for me. I'm going to sell it for the same amount of money anyway. Okay. Did everybody get to look at these beautiful drawings on the wall? Did anybody buy one of these beautiful? No. You know, you got to support these musicians here. Buy a drawing. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's my, 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 that you want that's my score now. I thought you did that already. Oh, yeah. I thought you were the worst set. Yes. You still want to cut it? Yeah, I did, but Show me what to do. Let's smoke in. Come on, it's a cigarette. Okay, everybody, sit down, sit down. Look, everybody left. You see what they did? They drank all Tristan's wine and they just went home. Oh, wait, the two people who wanted me to read a special poem for them, they left too, so I don't have to read that. Oh, good. That's what they did. Now they're not going to hear the poem. But it's me. It's this is getting to be like a, a party now, an intimate, intimate party. If anybody can figure out what this guy says, <laughs> I know most of you don't know what I'm saying either, but that's okay. No, actually, this was a very, uh, everybody seemed to know what I said, except for me. So, uh, yeah, so I was going to read this poem about Givergi, which uh, I really love to read, but the people who wanted to hear it left. They drank all the wine and left also. <laughs> so so why did they ask me to read it? Why do you think they asked me? Well, what do you think that was? A conspiracy on their part? Just to drink wine. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. How many people here have ever won an award of any kind? Oh, that's good. I guess I'm the only one. Oh, I'm looking lucky. Okay, this, uh, this is a new book just came out in Paris. Uh, it's published by an Irishman who now left Paris because he kind of travels around a lot. So um, these were all written listening to a wonderful saxophone player named Evan Parker. And I wrote this one going back and forth from his set to the, a place called the New Yorican Poets Cafe where they were giving awards out. Um, I forgot what the awards were about, but a great musician named George Lewis was one of the people who won the awards, and uh, a lot of poets won awards, and it was about awards, you know? So this is kind of about awards. I don't know what it sounds like, because I never read it out loud. People accepted awards. George got one. Read corn about corn, shouted about the deconstruction of America, raced to the racial line again. A penny went a long way for a thought back then, when thinking seemed freer, though free thought was never really free. 
Easy Magic, Lone Riders strutted their stuff more easily, though it seemed more difficult. A lifetime itself was an achievement back then, so getting a lifetime achievement award didn't always prove anything. What I can see on the screen from where I sit are dense black lines, interconnected computer music, something I never ventured to look at before. Bill looks so slick lately, always dressed so fine now that he's a family man, probably a professor too. The streets seem to pay off for him. I'm so, so maladjusted still, even with enough for a good meal all the time. Living on the edge of one's art, paying lots of dues can appear more precarious than it is. Though most times it's pretty damn precarious. Changing order, combinations, may unlock mysteries or may just leave one wondering or may do nothing at all. I close my eyes at 10.25 p.m. I'm tired. I'm tired of just about everything. Especially, especially all those lies the big boys tell us. Awards. Someone's always getting awards. The idea is to disconnect the dots. Deep throated, the gonga limbs through scat loops, echoing metals, melding of fractions, simultaneous monologues, international enveloping aesthetic. Perhaps the shaking off of parallels, slight vibration and busy percussion, palimonium, minor pandemonium, shades of straight forge, neo-generated mysticuffs, hot blood mingling with cool reverse, Tenerosities and tambourine dance like a horde of mads and comets. Subtle changes. Rhythmic pitted against arrhythmic multiples. And there go those birds again, meeting dense air with their clatter and chatter. Blood that flows through the dreamer's cheeks. Disembodied voices made whole through the Biren bows the shiver. And here we all are, frozen tropics, optical illusions, high above the bottom of the trees. Thunder crunching the brain things, brew web transparencies. Clapper. Clapper. and slide and glide uncloak and what comes from one ritual or another. Then paddle the wheel of the ancestors down the Thames, the Hudson, the Amazon, the Nile, the Thames, the Hudson, the Amazon, the Nile. The same, the insane, from credible to incredible, from power to mystery, Fried, fried, fried by contemporary antiquity. In the E zone, froze vibrating combinations of omniherences, connecting and disconnecting and reconnecting the dots. Ordinance, pre ordinance, ordination, 
share of bartering high lows, abstracted tracking revolutions, and here goes, oh, went with air go, the tremulous, oh, and at it's immensely, intensely, tremendously, bestly, best, side fracturing, delvamine protractions, less insula out, more of our taking understanding. Come on, no, prepare thyself for foresight, groundwork, illumine the faces for dialogues vertically reacting in a mostly horizontal place that's older than you think. Conceptual thinking, connecting the dots and disconnecting the dots, seeing one's fate fall off the bandwagon, stand dangerously close to the edge of the grim of the world, live the tremor renderous climb, motions and ex window with a view of the climbers pulling bits of silences from precipice heights cheerio the meals of fall reckoning here's the boats let loose downstream and through the rapids then free falls over the falls the top the peakless over its light and lamp and end the plunge and all prevails in cohesion and amongst the spillage of Dots, the dots, disconnecting and reconnecting the dots. And I close my eyes at 10.25 p.m. I'm so tired, tired of just about everything. Today, a guy almost decked me because he thought I thought pigeons were more important than people. Are they? The crazy lady who was feeding the pigeons seemed to think so. She said pigeons had delicate little feet and were sad because she almost stepped on one. And he said that She'd probably step over a dying man to feed those pigeons. And I said, not exactly in this order, that someone had to feed them. He said, I said, he got mad, wanted to deck me. Said, you look like an intelligent person. I'd kill or help a person before I'd kill or help a pigeon. I said, back off, back off, man. Someone has to do it. I mean, Alex and his wife and Hugo all got so nervous, I was scared and I wished I could have just blown the fucking guy's head right off. So I guess at that moment, pigeons were more important since I never wanted to blow a pigeon's head off. And I only get angry if one shits on my head, which sometimes they occasionally do. But certainly they shit on me a lot less than people. <laughs> but though I got mad at the guy, I smartly backed off as he lunged forward. Finally, he split, still shouting at me, telling me how intelligent I look and all, and and that I should know better that people are more important than pigeons. Again, reiterating that he'd save a man before he'd save a pigeon. Me, me too, I guess. Anyway, later that night, I saw a homeless guy sleeping on the sidewalk near the church cemetery, exactly where the old lady happened to be feeding the birds. And I stepped over him quietly so as not to disturb him. Listen, Evan, I'm sweating under my chin again, and it's so damn hot here, and it's so squirmy and uncomfortable, but I'm not quite sure if I want to go out. I want to stay right here. It was, it was good running into you on the street today while the light was changing, and 
and us right in the middle of the road and me passing you that poem I wrote for you uh, as if I were doing a drug deal or something. And my day went fairly well except for that pigeon thing. Though the Indian food was a bit too spicy. Listen, the restaurants last night on 2nd Avenue, tomorrow they're going to move to Long Island City. The sparks of our lives have come to different configurations and denominations and movements. Some equitable and some not. The sparks of our lives, some are so totally real and some so simply airsoft and downright silly. More and more the feeling of true and general approval has been replaced by the politics of power. Gone are the penny thoughts of which there used to be so many. But you know what? The pigeons, the pigeons still prosper. The pigeons still prosper. The pigeons still prosper. They still prosper. They still prosper. And Sylvia, if you have to go, don't worry about it. And I'm sure tomorrow everything will be great when you get there on time and get there on time. So, how many people still listen to records? You know, vinyl. I know Virgin. Virgin has so many records, you don't know what to do with them anymore. I listen to old vinyl, but I do not hear it. I look at books, but I don't read. Warm, but I wear my coat and I can't stop this junk drip from my nose. Stuffy like the tune he said. I said, but I said I didn't. I got high, but I didn't ingest. I got low, but I didn't sink. I know I didn't. It's all a matter of interpretation anyway. Fat and skinny had a race. That fell down and broke. Her face. That weighs down my heart, my heart, a white dot, white dot, with stick stuck through it. Crazy white, our elbows bruised through, through chimney smoke and short sleeves. This is a weather of chance. This is our melody, our great big Jones. This is our grace. My stuffy, drippy nose playing in the cosmos like mucus, like there must be some relationship there. Blood and narrow smiles. I kiss your cannolis but do not taste. I smell your unsmellable snatch and duck wall. Wax my airy lips into place. My face three prickly pears yearning for a branch or a bite. I'm branded on a thoughtless garden, hopeless trousers. The hole that shows your fleshy ass. I'm narrating notes. I'm always trying to be something in these poems. Friend unfolding. Heavy load. You can take my gal. You can take my soil. I'll take Manhattan. You can grab my jackfruit. You can squeeze my mangoes. You can even establish my goals. You can make me a heathen, you can sing me songs, you can alter my language, you can rewrite my story, you can rain on my charade, you can explain the entire universe to me. When our atmosphere is gone, the universe will still go on. You can tell me, you can tell me there have never been any human scandals. You can straighten my tie, my mirror, my cold public smile. You can take away my Africa, you can take away my America, you can take away my Asia, you can take away my Europa, you can leave my world so it's closer to yours, you can straighten out my memoirs or dictate them, you can call me a clear blue sky, meaning nasty like, you can slice me till I trip, drop me like a hot dog down a narrow throat. I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on talking.
talking anyway. I'm just gonna keep on talking anyway. I'm... Jones and dust and architecture and air. You can drop me like rain, like a sack of old. I listen, but I do not hear. You can dump me like a dirty wind. Push it, don't push it. Stress, lingo, honey. I listen to old money, but I do not hear. Touch, touch. You can, you can, you can, you can. You can. You can. You can. You can rename my town. You can crush my car. You can crush my spirit. You can crush my spike. You can crush my forest. My mount. My mount. You can. You can. You can. You can. You can. But. One immigrant says to another, I've been here. Filibetsa sing song. One immigrant says to another, it's when the sun's behind your back. Chopped or pureed things that chemicals do inside the body. One immigrant says to another, intent on being alone, a number in a crowd, the curb. One immigrant says, I am afraid spring takes too long to arrive. Summer games are no longer for children. In summer, I'll climb to the top of the ice cube to escape. I'll find you in wealth and frenzy and elegance and soul. You, 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 still the father of us all. Stalling, starving, searching, everlasting wonder, wonder of lives lived and lamented, etched into potion, making us each other, taking us into to a go and again and over and over and over forest and jungle gentle chilling snow is sold up i sold up working and working returning to veins devouring enjoyment and wondering interesting how we catch ourselves hey if somebody wants to dance they can dance while they're uh, <laughs> Does somebody want to dance? Hello? You want to dance? Precious, sick, 27, sick holes, portholes, moon towel, attraction of fringers, speedalodling downlid, some of the best bebop piano I ever heard. Chances a bag fell out of the bag, all museums, all warehouses, all whorehouses, windows of engagement and rearrangement. This is less than before one can imagine. Where is the past now? Where is the past now if not in the head? The past is, where is the past now if not in the head or in some book or a map or museum or warehouse or whorehouse? This is a story you can tell over and over and over again the same way only different every time, the gray area of time where once is what it's all about. Once I had this white cat and once I had this black dog and in a rod of continuous Tom Tom Z rapper, message of whittles and sinews and news, news, it's always about the news, with even a touch of a touched up photograph, still who was and who is and three views of the same square. It happens a lot between gaps in the mind that happens around centuries turn and who's that monkey that owned the property and why does he always win the game? Who, one immigrant, says to another,
stone and steels and glass. This world was built by hand. First there came the breather, then there came the breath. The heat and the moisture and the sound and the thought. The gesture, the grunt, the drum, the spoke, the symbol, the word, the language, the tool, the chapeau, the whiskey, the hemp, the text, the structure, the shifting of the bone, the art of the deal, commerce, war, burial, true love, and the ability to listen. The music, the muscles dispersed. I'll never forget that night. Origins, symbols, sewn into our voices, and the ability to listen. The girth of strength, the piano player's muscles, the blazing ma. Ah, the blazing ma. The camera on the muscles of the mouth. The requisite self, a beach when famine sang, I in the balcony, she in front, and the ability to listen. If I were a writer and you were a bird, I'd write what you spoke every morning through my sleep, even if it irritated me sometimes. Stood shook, hand, fingers, both blue scenes, leaning on thought, my spokes beating like unmetered music, gasping and grasping at breath, still smelting, still wondering, still marveling, still searching, searching, searching for the ability to listen, to listen beneath the sound below the mind, to pleasurably grapple with the void, to listen to kinesthesia, movement, classical fire, eating up the angels of hell, hard heart, soft wheel, deep origin, long breath, gentle, gentle, It's a basin in here, so improvise within the vocabulary of the particular language you are using, the sympathetic chord address. Don't make up what's right in front of you. Don't make up what, 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 don't make up what's right in front of you. Rhythm, chorus, scribe it in my blood. Buzzards in the head, pound with the eyes, saying, come to me, come to me. Wish I had a camera that could make people real. Tripping over organics, incarnate, rooted in the fold. Ah, keep the ah, keep the ah, keep the ah, keep the ah. I have radical choices because the museum allows such a thing. As if played with a mass of pockets in the theory across the frontier. And I felt so separate from my name. Where hair has gone, terra firma, listen to be aware, a grasp of be aware, a chatter in the space of the sphere of incognito in the space of the cognis. And I felt so separate from my name. Lover, unrecognized, star fucking and confused. So become that which one fucks, hence end up fucked and fucking oneself. I feel so separated from my name, so separated from my name. Where is the end at the end of even? Even now, is it I wonder where it began at the beginning and the end of I ran, I ran, I ran, I ran because I, because I ran, I ran, and the voice is saturated, and I, I ran, and I ran on Bloom's rally, I ran and built burning stores, and I ran wild dice tents, even the snake guys even formed it. Instantly, I ran and I ran and I ran because once then in a great long when then bear then it, I ran and I ran and I ran a spittle ran from the tone cluster of the mouth of time elbowed and 
Boeing, the scrim's name, I ran and I ran and I ran, crying, the hanging on the turf was pulverized, and I ran, I ran as the Opoly fag, random, and I ran as if running was the only thing I could do, and I ran and I ran as if I were running, I were running, I ran as if I were running, I ran and I ran and I ran as if running were the only thing I could do, and then Ditto came. So drink a little more wine. What about the question and answer? Oh yeah, question. well the woman who wanted the question and answer, question. she wanted yeah. to hear Givrini too, and she went no, home. No, yeah, no. So you picked black and white on purpose, uh, intentionally. The black and white, no color on purpose. Oh yeah, um, I, I make also colors, but uh, for this series, the was charcoal black and white. Black and brown yeah. sometimes. Yeah. But it's black and white, I see color. Ah. Sylvia has to go home. Yeah, you know, yeah, very good. Then we have a bit of a you know, uh, you know, graduation of the. Or and I have to sell some books and TV so we can support it. It's not easy, I know. It's very easy. It's very much easy. It's only talking to my wife. Oh, that's right. Oh, my wife does have no money to that's <laughs> oh, all you're oh, telling me. I'm getting a heart attack. It was too much of a push. Oh, now we're going to do this. <laughs> See, the good thing about when the audience gets smaller is you can make more jokes and be more intimate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like my mother would say, gay, I was back already, which means go away and some foreign language. Gay schluck. Gay that, that was the good one. It's gay cocking and gay I'm back. Those are the ones you don't want to hear. And gay diggers are three. Gay diggers are three, right. And she said, I'm tired of you being gay already. Get out of the house and go find a girlfriend. You know? Never mind. Oh, here I went. I offended somebody at the end of the night. <laughs> More than you was. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. Maybe a friend. Oh, thank you, everybody. Who said thank you? I'll thank you again. Oh, yeah, go home. You're going you're gonna to get like at least 220 on that test. So don't worry. It's going to be beyond the success. I love you, Sylvia. I love you. And make sure we see you a little more of you when we can, when it's yes, all yes. settled. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs>